what's going on guys larry and andrew jacked here today yes sir we're going to be getting in some deadlifts so right now we're in the hypertrophy phase of training we'll be doing this for about five six weeks where we'll be keeping the loads under 60 percent we'll be focusing on the mind muscle connection um slow reps nothing too explosive off the floor um we'll also be using the fat grips today with the deadlift bar. on the regular bar not a deadlift bar just a regular power bar here at a bodybuilding gym and we'll be using fat grips until we can't hold on to the bar anymore um i have since i've gained so much weight and i'll be gaining even more have a problem of holding the bar now so i'll be doing everything in my power to strengthen my grip and using the fat grips is one of the tools i have to do that um andrew has officially committed to doing the arnold yep in March, so I'm super excited to see that. The Arnold's in Columbus. He is gonna smash it. I did a poll saying, will Andrew get his pro card 2020? And 95% said yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks, guys. And <laughs> hey, we'll make it happen. The hype is real. Yeah, he's, we'll, make we'll make it happen. I think he's better than a lot of pros out there, to be honest. I'm not putting out any names, but he looks incredible. Many people agree, so I'm super excited for that. I'm going to be at the Arnold's myself as well in Columbus. I'm going to be doing um, a powerlifting meet. I have big goals in mind. I'll be at the LA Fit Expo in January and I have lots and lots more exciting things coming up. So, without further to say, I'm going to lift some weights, get to it. Okay, it's different. It's interesting. Let's see. Get a pause right below the knee for three seconds. Yeah, a little bit lower. Pause a little lower. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll have you adjust your stance just a little bit. Um, right now it's looking like your arms are in line with your knee. You want your knees to be inside your arms here. So let's just have you bring your legs in a bit. You can keep your hands the same. Just bring your stance closer. Even a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. Your arms are so damn big, man. You gotta <laughs> make room for your legs. <laughs> yeah, that looks a lot better. One more breath and bring the bar close, close to your shin. Yeah. Sit all the way back. Hips all the way back. Yes. Nice. That's clean.
So we're doing Paul's Dallas to work on my sticking point in the deadlift, which is typically right below the knee. Um, I have a lot of power off the floor. And also <clears throat> to work on getting a better grip on the bar. So by using the fat grips, it forces me to not grip and rip. I have to get a very tight, secure grip on the bar. The fat grips um, have no knurling, as you know. So it's a very smooth surface. Even though I'm using a mixed grip, there's no doubt it's more difficult than pulling um, against the knurling without the fat grips. And yeah, we're just putting myself in a position to pull 410 in competition at the Arnold's. I rest a bit when you try. Fast breaks. See, they got a better grip. <laughs> behave, fat breaks. <laughs> he does have longer fingers. He does behave. Does mm he? -hmm. Uh huh. I think he does. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We see. We see. There must be a way out. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the bar. Half grip or full grip. <laughs> All right, let's see. Full. All right, that's full. Oh, hold on. Thumb on the back grip yeah. too. Thumbs. <laughs> You got it, just squeeze it. Let me do like beat like BTC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> uh, nice. There you go. Come on. That was impressive. I'll try putting my thumb outside the grip. Yeah, I think it should be better. That'd be much better. So I'll do it right now. Oh, it's not happening. I think that's it for the fact that you know, I had the advantage. I have, you know, like the tiny fingers, so it's easy I can grab, grab onto. Mm -hmm. Yours is huge, brand, that's why. <laughs> yeah, it didn't see? help me. Yeah, see? <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> see? I think they're about the same. Yeah, but it's skinnier, so it can, can hang on to stuffs. <laughs> nice, yeah, thick nice stuff. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, the plan was only to use it until it can't be used anymore. That is good. So, worked up to 500 for a single with these, and then now we got, I'll do some sets without them. Um, after all, I'm well, never using fat grips on anything on heavy anything heavier than this anyway so Yes, sir. 
Ready. That was my adrenaline right there. <laughs> like, so, you know, like on Iron Wars, they did this for 10 reps, 12 reps. So I'm like, nah, I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah. You got 15. 15? Yeah. Yeah, you'd be the strongest one there, easily. No belts, no straps. On the, and they use straps. <laughs> yeah. On the bigger one, yeah? Some real shit right there. <laughs> yes. Everything, everything. Oh, yeah. Tax that lower back. Jeez. Like crazy. All right, guys. As you know, I tore my callus, all three of them here at my Delif competition. As you can't tell because it's chalk covering it, but the skin here is very raw. It's even tender to the touch. So, as you can imagine, with 225 kilos on it, just causing too much pain right now. I did a couple of sets, but now I'm worried if I do another one or a couple more, it's going to rip it open again because it's just the skin so tender and raw so I believe next week it'll be no problem um, so I got some work here with the deadlifts I'm happy with it just some Paul's deadlifts I'm actually gonna see if I have some straps with me and do some um, RDL some Romanian deadlifts and uh, then I'll move on to some machine stuff yeah Just, you know, like trying to go slowly, <laughs> and then you know, your eyes just have to like feel, like feel on some stuff. Yeah? I thought uh, my video was a pervert, but I think Andrew <laughs> might have a beat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. Mm.
good motivation. Light up the tracks and see. Come on. God almighty. Mm -hmm. See it, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. Easy. It's easy. Oh, yeah. Lightweight. Oh, yeah. Full control. Push, push. Push, 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 push. Yes. Push. Push control. Keep those arms locked, triceps, elbows locked, bro. Come on. Keep it locked. Elbows locked. Yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. Woo, woo. Man. Mm. Yeah. Gotta feed me some eyes, man. <laughs> gotta feed the eyes a little bit. So, we wanna keep those elbows locked when it gets hard. Okay. Just to bring you from turn. Yeah, instead of like, like yeah. supports, yeah? Like Keep cheating. Ah, uh, you just might tear one of those beautiful biceps, so you gotta keep the levels locked. Okay. Because when you do this and it gets very heavy, you're putting strain on the bicep, it might just snap. So, you have to keep it safe. Yeah. Sure. That's all. And then, just by bringing your stance in, it looks much cleaner. Sweat like come coming all over on the palm, so slipping. Mm. Sweat on the palms. <laughs> come on. Right in front of you. Jesus. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, Let's take a look at that stuff, man. Oh. Focus 100%. <laughs> Halfway focused. Stretch, bro. You have stretch. <laughs> so some deadlift, you know, you do some stretching. God damn. Man. Oh, the good stretch. When he corrected my technique, so I did one for him. So now this is my last set, which is good. Yes, sir.
PT David Johnson says doing hanging leg raises are a waste of time. I have to disagree with him because when I used to consistently do hanging leg raises throughout my training, I found I had a better connection with my core. I can brace much harder when doing everything, squats, deadlifts, even accessory movements. So um, maybe it's not going to give me any more poundage on my squats or deadlifts, but there's no doubt I feel when I work my abs, hanging leg raises, sit-ups, crunches, whatever, I definitely get a better contraction here. And for squats and deadlifts, when you breathe into the belt, breathe in your diaphragm, into the belt and brace, that's your power, that's where you get your explosiveness. So I definitely find it useful. Um, my PT says, if you really wanna strengthen your core, do single hand farmer's carry. So you do single hand farmer's carry, and you work the other side of your obliques and you won't walk with it like this, you walk with it here. And it'll be 100 kilograms in one hand and nothing in the other, for example. That's what he said builds your core because you're moving, holding a heavy weight and forcing your core to keep itself straight. So I do like that as well, but there's no doubt this works too. They're both good. Okay. Oh yeah, for sure. Take a home, take a home. 
Take him home, sir. Come on. Three. All right, here we go. Four. Uh -huh. Take him home. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. That was good. <laughs> Conspiracy. 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 Let's see it. I don't know what they was doing. Watch out for the next episode. <laughs> Black Hulk. Black Hulk. <laughs> next episode. <laughs> All right, guys, we're wrapping this up. Just did 10 sets of three on the deadlift. Yep. Um, we tried, uh, I did not even one set, really, with the fat grips, just to work on my grip. One of the ways I'm going to be working on it. I have other more creative ways I'll be showing you guys soon. But Andrew surprised me. Yep. He did three reps for the three fat grips. Three reps for the fat grips. Quite impressive. And he slipped off. Yep. Yeah, so I think uh, you get to get the edge when it comes to grip. Oh, uh, yeah. We're oh, yeah. trying to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> and um, shit, you did an AM wrap, I think, at 15, touch and go? Yep, yep, on 15. So, word on the street is that Iron Wars guys are doing 10 to 12 reps. Andrew just smoked that. 15. Doing 15. Put up, doing like 20s, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a humble guy, you see. <laughs> no showing off. He's a humble giant, you know, could have done like 20, 25 with straps. Easy, easy. So, yeah, not that we're calling anybody out, just saying that Andrew can do better, that's all. Uh -huh. Andrew can do better than we did today. Yep. That's it. Uh, with that said, we got every other day workouts coming. Um, we'll be keeping you updated and definitely getting some footage of you working with uh, the Caterpillar. Uh, Kate, the posing? Kate, Kate, yeah. Kate. Yeah, yeah, Kate. You know, I was yeah. calling her Kat the whole time I met her and no one corrected me. So now <laughs> yeah. I feel stupid. But her name is actually Kate, the posing coach here. Yeah. And uh, we'll get some footage of you practicing posing. I'll do a little posing practice as well because yeah. we can all get better at posing. Yes, sir. If it's not for the stage, for the photos. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be uh, uh, prepping for my meet in March. If you guys are wondering, Yes, I will be doing a bodybuilding show next year. And yes, I will be doing Strongman next year as well. Uh, but the reason I'm postponing Strongman bodybuilding at the moment is because I got to go up against guys like Andrew and okay. Bigger, and I'm just, I'm just not there yet. So <laughs> adding some mass, I'm working up to get to 142 kg, 310 pounds by mid-January. And then we'll see what it looked like there and how I feel. If everything's all right, we'll keep going up and up. So. Please follow Andrew Jacked. Yes, sir. At Andrew Jacked. Andrew Jacked. Uh, check out StrengthNet if you want to see my videographer's work. At StrengthNet. Oh, yes, you get to shout out this oh. time. And <laughs> then uh, like, subscribe, comment, post notifications. And if you're wondering if I have training programs, coaching, that sort of thing or not, check out LarryWheels.com for all my training programs. And for what we're wearing today, we got the PR Stringer and PR Blue Jogger with no zip. They have a bit of a Love loose it. fit. We are black t-shirts. Uh, actually, it rained today, guys. It rained today, so the PR joggers were fucked up. So I had to like improvise with some other. Yeah, we don't yeah. bring out PR joggers on a rainy day. Those yeah, are only on for sunny days. days. Oh, uh, only for special occasions. Yeah, but I've got a t-shirt here, matching, matching, matching. Yes, sir. Black uh, on black. All right, see you guys. <laughs>